Students at Cheshire Academy took a page from the book of the civil rights leader today as they marked King's birthday with a peaceful protest. The students gathered in their dining room and refused to go to classes, saying King's birthday deserved a special observance. The sit-in evolved into a day of discussions about King and civil rights and the fight for freedom. We woke up on that Martin Luther King Day in 1990 expecting to have a, a regular school day. Uh, probably with some kind of a short speech given at an assembly or a meeting about ML King. Uh, and I think to the surprise of most of the faculty, our classrooms were empty. And we soon discovered that there was a large student gathering in the dining hall. Uh, the kids were sitting in a big circle or standing in a big circle, I guess it was, uh, when we finally went in there and, and they were talking about Martin Luther King Day and many issues related to the school and to the country and to African American experience. And we knew right away that it was a very constructive and positive thing. The tone of it was obviously serious, uh, educational. Uh, we were really actually proud of our students for uh, conducting themselves in such a constructive and meaningful way. We've tried to follow Dr. King's example to the T today. Now there have been no rowdy foot stompings or anything like that. Everybody's been very calm. It's been very organized by several student leaders. Well, I wanted to just enhance the students' awareness about Martin Luther King and black history in general. I think society as a whole is ignorant to what blacks are about and what they do for America. And I, I think we really enhanced everybody's awareness. I think it was an extremely positive experience. It'll live with everybody the rest of their lives. The student protest broke up around 2.30. Next year, they plan a day-long observance to honor Dr. King. So it was apparent that something important was going on. And, and indeed, um, it led to our changing our thinking about how to handle Martin Luther King Day. We had never had the day off. Uh, we still don't. We, we now do a special program on ML King Day every year. We've had a wide variety of uh, programs on Martin Luther King Day. We used to walk down to the Cheshire Movie Theater, which used to be right down the street from us, where we would rent the entire theater for the school. We'd watch uh, a film together and then have discussion groups. And, and one very memorable one for me was when we had a multi-generational music and performance group you know, with, with kids as young as five or six there with their parents and much older grandparents playing drums and other instruments and, and relating stories of African American history. And they had with them uh, chains that had been used to, to enslave people. I, I think it had a big impact on everyone. We were proud of our students on that day in 1990. Uh, it was a very interesting and, and unique event uh, at the school and, it, I, and I think it just spoke well of the, uh, the trust that the students had in, in the faculty, um, the trust they had in the community that they could do this and it would be handled well and it would be it would turn into something important for the school. And I found the headmaster's, uh, head of school's comments about it on, on the video interesting that when he said that the students who were part of this will remember it for the rest of their lives, and I'm sure that's true.